anyone that's joining us, you're very, very welcome. So I have been going through the meanings and feelings of the cards. And for people that don't know me, my name is Anne-Marie. I'm Tarot with Anne-Marie, and I am also tarotcourses.online. If you want to learn about Three of Wands. Incidentally, if you would like a copy of the PDF for free that I am using on the screen, yours will be a white copy. Um, it's exactly the same. I just changed the colour so that I don't look washed out in white. <laughs> but yours is a white copy, okay? You can write to me um, at hello at tarotcourses.online, even if you just want to say hi. Now, um, the files are big because it's PDF, so if you want all of the files, happy to send them, but I'll have to send them as separate emails for each one. So you can have the Major Arcana, you can have the Swords, you can have the Cups, you can have the Wands. I can't give you the Pentacles because we've not got there yet, so I'll give that. Um, to you once we start the pentacles if that's what you want. So don't feel shy to ask. Um, it is free and um, it'd be lovely to actually hear from you. So um, I know people watch it um, later because I do record this so that people are able to get some training. I know how difficult it is to find some good training. Um, my background is um, I've been a professional tarot consultant now for 30 years, and I led a team of over 200 psychics, um, clairvoyants, mediums, tarot readers, for a very, very long time, until I branched out two years ago to be tarot with Amri just on my own, because I wanted to do more training videos, um, uh, self-help videos, meditation, visualization. I wanted to do that and not just be taking calls um, for tarot readings. I wanted to be able to help people. Now, I have taught people um, from scratch, um, got them on the phone lines in the previous company that I actually created. And um, so, you know, the training here is good enough to be a professional, even if you're just curious about learning tarot. Those people went on to actually, and um, gosh, it was so helpful to them through lockdown because they were able to completely go full time as a professional reader for any of the phone lines, you know. So there's some, um, the bullet points with me on here is probably not enough because you don't know how to put it all together. Um, to put it all together, that's where you come to me at tarotcourses.online and there you can actually learn all about the cards in the beginners. So that's um, the major arcana and the minor arcana, and I've done them all separately, so you're not overwhelmed. You can learn at your own pace, it's all video recordings. What I do on YouTube is try and help people that just want some basic insight and some key points, and maybe to ask some questions um, while we're here. But on the um, website that I have, I can take you into uh, the method that I use and um, help you unravel the mystery and the secret of reading tarot on the intermediate course and of course on the advanced which will give you um, a bigger spread and much more information. Um, spotlight courses that I can run later when people get familiar with me. Um, there's not enough people at the moment, it's a brand new website and I've also added webinar readings on there so you can have a reading with me on there if you want, okay? So there we go. So the three of wands, we're planning ahead with confidence when we get this card. We are creating. It's a card of exploring and of expansion. And if you look at that guy, he's standing there with two ones beside him and one on the left side. And he's looking out to the water, where the boats are or the ships are, um, sailing on the water. And we can see the mountains there in the background. The mountains represent land, of course, but they also represent the fact that there are challenges that he must navigate ahead. The water symbolises the emotion, but in this case, it's also saying that expansion from A to B, you know, a journey where you move from one point to the other, and that's exactly what the Three of Wands is all about. So it's taking your projects on to a wider stage, and looking and longing for new horizons, you know, a bit like I was, so, you know, when I, I left um, the team that I was leading and I created that all, the brand, everything, I was the brand. Um, but it was like, I want to teach more. 
And although I was doing it, I was only doing it here and there, and it wasn't enough, and they were kind of going, oh, you know, we want you reading. And it's like, I know you do, but I also want to teach. And so, like, well, we'll just wait, and we'll get this ready, and we'll get that ready. And I have no control over being able to say, I want to do YouTube on this. Yeah, 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 we'll do it. So it, it was, it, you know, we're still the best of friends. Um, we still talk. Um, there's still plenty that, you know, we discuss. But... I did want to do this desperately. And so I put my head down for two years, created it so it's video courses and, of course, the YouTube channel here where I can offer videos that you can look at things and go, I'm a Virgo or an Aries, what's she got on that? Um, is that going to help me? Is it something, you know, that you can look at? Um, there's about 300 videos on um, my YouTube channel that's recorded and um, obviously the lives as well. Hello, Victor. I missed you last night. I know you were there, but I couldn't find you in the comments. It was, um, gosh, so many comments last night, 200 comments in an hour, and um, I just couldn't uh, go through them all. So um, on the busy ones, um, if you want to come in for live readings on Friday, I do urge people to ta uh, type Q so that um, in the comments, I can filter the comments out for questions. And then go back and look at the chat amongst you all. you are all such a lovely, lovely bunch. I love it. Okay. So welcome, Victor, who is um, a reader and is developing his skills um, reading. Um, it's wonderful. Um, Patsy says, hi. There you go. See what I mean about friendly bunch? Wonderful. Okay. So this is longing for new horizons, as I mentioned, but it's about leading the way forwards, you know, and I talk about myself leading a team, it's a good example, and then kind of going, right, I want to go in another direction. It's a typical example of the three of wands. If you can think of something in your own life, it will help you with the card. You know, what were you doing at the time? Where were you? Who was there? What was happening? What were you feeling? Um, were you feeling frustrated? Were you feeling excited? Were you feeling, gosh, this isn't working, I need to do and figure out another way? How can I actually get to the masses? That's what I was doing. It's like, how can I get to people that want to actually not just have readings? That's really what it was. Of course, I love giving readings. It's, you know, who I am, of course. But there was a little bit more to it than that. Okay. Um, so I went on um, to move in a different direction, which is what the Three of Wands is all about, creating things. It's ambitions that you begin to put into practice, and probably in a very imaginative way, you know. Um, so if you think of it, you know, you have an idea and it sparks something, you know, and there you go, um, you move forwards. Um, so it, it's usually your imagination that kind of goes you know, what is it? And for me, I'd started um, a little Facebook group and the YouTube channel, and I was on YouTube, gosh, way back in 2005, 2006, right at the beginning where I did um, holding up cards on a, um, a platform and went right through it. We did a DVD, and I used to write um, little articles for Mind, Body and Spirit exhibition, um, uh, booklets uh, and um, catalogues and um, magazines and I did the London Olympia shows and oh gosh up and down the country you know Brighton and gosh Weymouth and Cornwall and Scotland and the Midlands and Yorkshire all of those places traveled everywhere because I wanted to meet people that were like-minded not so much it's not always about the customer. For me, it's always about people that you meet that are on the same path as you or have that lovely vision. And it's what can I learn and what can I maybe share? That's what it's all about for me anyway, you know. So uh, I'm just going to say, hey, there you go. Victor's saying he was lurking in the background. Oh, there you go. And look, we've got Diana. Hi, Diana. We're fine. Okay, so Zara, I'm not going to put your comment on the screen. We are not um, here for uh, readings today. This is how um, to read 
the cards, okay? So we're reading the cards. So um, looks all right, you know, no, it, it's uh, Friday nights for that. Today is if you want to read the cards. Sorry, darling, but Patsy's saying hi. So, you know, there you go. Um, Patsy, I don't know if you pop in on our Friday nights, five o'clock UK time, um, 5 p.m. It's probably the wrong time of day for you. It's probably too late. Oh, gosh. You're in Bali. Oh, my goodness me. One day you might, I'd love for you to send me a picture in some way. I'm on Instagram. Um, there it is. Um, on the left side of the screen below the card. That's a great way to actually um, speak to me. Uh, you're coming in from YouTube. You can always send me something on there. I don't know how easy it is to attach something, but I'd love to see a gorgeous picture. One day I'll actually stream outside. It won't be that I can do something um, with the PDF behind me like this, but I'll, the, the scenery is just gorgeous. So, um, you know, um, on my Instagram, I sometimes go out and just go to the beach and switch on and just say hello with, with nothing more than hi. <laughs> um, because I want to be friendly and talk to you all, okay? So um, it's ambitions in the Three of Wands that you begin to put into practice and probably in an imaginative way, as I've mentioned. It's about progress, it's about expansion, it's about foresight, and it's about overseas opportunities. Sorry to come back to me, but when I did Tarot with Anne-Marie, my purpose was to progress, to expand, and to connect with people from all over. I was already taking calls worldwide, but not teaching people worldwide. It tended to be the Brits that were kind of coming in um, and um, uh, having, uh, what did we do? We used to do um, 20 things. We did it in person. I did it in libraries. I did it in community halls. I did it in people's homes. I did it in uh, little shops. I did it in exhibitions. And... We did it in a conference call um, on the phone and they were the ones that went on to actually have a career with the platform that they uh, used to be a customer on. They did my course and they went on, they learned the tarot, they qualified, they got through the interview and they got accepted as a reader. So what I'm saying to you, if that's what you want to do, this is a start and from here you can go on to tarot courses, start online and you can pick whatever it is that you feel that you need to actually expand on. I've made it affordable, I've made it simple. But what was wrong was getting a group together at the right time because everybody was international and for us all to be able to sit down and, and get together each way. Oh, I can't do this way, I can't do that way. And I needed to go, we've got to find another way. So my three of ones led me to go and do a small group. And I um, did this with a white PDF behind me. And uh, people said, oh gosh, we want more. And I said, I haven't got any more. I can give you more, but I need to go off and do it. And they said, off you go. So two years later, I've done it. Okay. And it's all available. So you can go in there. It's safe. It's all on my website. It's all locked in. Uh, no, you can't download it because, um, well, uh, it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, here we go. Who have we got? Uh, Kitta. Um, thank you very much. But sweetheart, we're asking for a reading, and that is Fridays at 5 p.m. GMT or BST as it is now, uh, London time. Unfortunately, I do not do that on a Saturday. I train um, with people and help them learn the cards. So I'm sorry, that's Fridays. I can't uh, merge the two. It, it, it's simply too confusing for all of us. Okay, so yeah, it's so hard working in, as a reader in Sweden, you see, helping people. Right, okay, so then what you need to do, Victor, is just look at the platforms that's out there, okay? Um, I, I, I... <laughs> yeah, but then I, I, I... yesterday, Victor, 6 a.m. I started and 10 p.m. I finished readings, so there's just not time. You know, and I do need to actually earn um, a living. So unfortunately, I can only spare two days a week at the moment. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, you're right, though. You're absolutely right. But um, that's why I put it on the website. OK, so it's about becoming more aware of the opportunities that exist for people when they get the three of ones. And there's still more to come. So it's growth. Three is the number of creation. Three is um, 
a uh, very, very creative number, but we've got ones. And what do ones mean? Action is the things we do. It's not the things, well, I think this, I think that, I feel this, I feel that. It's none of that. It's actually the actions, the work involved in what you're doing. Okay, so um, it's taking advantage of this potential and staying committed to your path and being prepared to stretch beyond the comfort zone, going off and doing the hard work, knowing that your best hopes lie outside of the current environment that you're in. Yeah, yeah. So really, um, you know, Victor, go and look at um, talking about uh, wanting to... Um, work in Sweden, where you're from, by the way. Um, Victor, what time is it in Sweden, please? Is it half past two where you are? Yeah? Is, is that what time it is? I think you Europe time, I'm guessing. Just lovely to know. Um, um, Kita, if you're still watching, I know you wanted to read it, so you might have disappeared. Um, this is training. Uh, what time is it where you are in South Africa? I'd love to know. Okay. Ah, there we go. 4.23 in Sweden. Lovely. So this works well at this time. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. But um, if you want to read, there are online um, businesses and um, you could uh, try to uh, look at all the different platforms that are hiring for readers who uh, do phone call readings or instant messaging readings or... Um, uh, what else is that? There's email readings, okay? So if you are interested, uh, anybody, I can pass that on to you. Um, I used to work for a very big company. I won't say their name in case they don't want me to. Um, and I, I founded that company, but I, um, although I created, I didn't own it, okay? Someone else uh, was, was good at being able to make sure that we grew, and we grew very, very quickly. Um, and, and it's very successful. So you might be able to work for them, Victor. Um, I will have a word with um, my Mr. S, who worked for uh, that company, and um, see um, if he would like me to actually talk about um, them and how some of you could approach if you want. So leave that with me. I will have a little chat with him, okay? Right. Ah, okay. Hi, Rachel. How are you doing? Thank you very much. So training today, Rachel, just in case you're wondering if we're doing readings, I'm good. I'm really good. Very excited to be showing um, the things that I've kind of got ready for you. You know, I've got my PDF, but I want to show you a little bit more today. So um, yeah, that's a great idea as a hobby. That's what I did in the beginning. And then I did some shows and I did some readings that were uh, for people. Um, it's it's really good. Yeah, you can do Victor as in, you know, um, we'll, we'll arrange that. Perhaps we'll do it on this one where we are uh, maybe bringing you in on a live where um, you're helping people who are learning as in, we'll do that one because we've done the lives for readings. How about we do it as in on the training? Yeah, um, bring you in one um, Saturday or Sunday where we can actually bring you up on camera like we did before. We can talk about what we're thinking and feeling of the card. You know, it's a bit of a workshop and get other people to join in too. Okay, um, I can bring in uh, people on interview mode where they can ask questions. So we can do that as well. Okay, so yeah, we'll do it, Victor. Okay, I think we'll do it on this platform. Oh, you're not long up. Okay, so um, what time is it where you are, Rachel? <laughs> and on Saturday, of course, you, know, you can have a lie-in. Um, I allowed myself a lie-in today for the first time in about two years. Um, because I was absolutely shattered from yesterday. Um, Victor, I won't be doing next Friday with that. No, I want to do it, um, um, it because Friday... Um, We'll, we'll, we'll arrange it. I need to arrange it properly because I have to set the scenes up. So give me uh, an opportunity there. Um, Victor and Victor's talking about uh, maybe next Friday, but it won't be for the Friday broadcast. I'll do it as a Saturday or a Sunday one. Okay, right. So um, and it's creating a partnership of journeys overland when you've got the three of wands. 
Okay, so this is, you know, if somebody says, oh gosh, how am I going to get on with my business and this comes up, you can see that it's growing. You can see that they put in the work in because it's ones. You can see that it is an idea that's budding, that's gathering and gaining momentum and it's stretching further and further and further afield. So they are in creation, but it, they are working at it because it says the ones and ones is the fire family okay so ah good 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 yep right yep okay so let's move it on to our next image which is the four of wands okay lovely card look at that okay so the four of wands is showing a scene of what looks like somebody's um, castle in the background um their home and, um, you know, the scene is sat there, as in uh, as, um, two women, actually, in the background. People think it's a man and a woman, but it's two women, okay? And they are, you know, uh, showing garlands in their hair and flowers up in the air, and they're dressed quite beautifully. There's some people there in the background outside the walls of what looks like a castle. And then we've got these four ones, which are also decorated with flowers and um, foliage and that just represents that it's our home okay in some way it's the home card so it's a change of lifestyle in an exciting way so it, it's not just our home it's about our lifestyle you know our free time and where we are comfortable in our domain at home kicking free from the mundane it's a card of celebration joy harmony relaxation and a homecoming you know, maybe uh, you're going home to see your folks or back to where you were born or you're connecting in some way um, with people from the past. Um, as I said, it's the home card, it's material security and it's um, a house card. Actually, just bear with me one second. I've realised I didn't put my phone on mute. I don't want that going off. Sorry, I normally do. Um, but I'm just watching the timer as in... Um, before I came on, I was actually on time today. Okay, um, it's a house card. So if somebody's asking the question, you know, am I moving? This is what you'd be looking for, okay? Um, a house card. It's about material security. So consolidating some sort of material security. It's not about somebody being rich. It's more to do with consolidation of what you've got and feeling grounded. You've got this card. Um, right, okay, let's just put that up. Okay, move that there. Right. And ah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so it's a wonderful card. But it's also about where you are feeling safe. You know, sometimes it's about modifying your home, which is what Tony and I are doing at the moment. Uh, bits and pieces, when there's a little bit of um, spare money, we go and do a little bit of that, and we stop, and we wait, and we pay a few bills, and then we go and do a bit of that, you know. So it's modification, we're tiling um, at the moment, those kind of things. So, you know, we've got the floor done and it's took two years. You know, the lights have been dangling with wires out the ceiling for a while, not because we couldn't afford it. It's just a case that we were changing what we had and we just did it step by step. Sometimes it can be about moving. Sometimes it can be about the fact that you are renting or you are going to, um, in some way, uh, a holiday home, a caravan, a tent, you know, anything that you feel is your domain. Okay, so it's the environment around you, and it's also about your material security. It's a card of consolidation. Okay, um, it means things are actually stable. Okay, and this card can have an association with marriage, which is why we might see you know the girl is there in the background with the garlands and the flowers. Maybe they're bridesmaids. We don't know, do we? You know, um, it's what the rest of the cards are doing in the spread. They would probably tell you a lot more about that, okay? Um, and, you know, it's a very, very positive, positive card. One of my favourites in the deck, actually. Uh, it can be a house move. 
But as I said, it can be about modifying things, you know, like I talked about. Um, it can be a property investment, even if it's an old tent, you know, that you kind of go, oh, I'm going to get a tent and see what I can do with this, you know, whether it's my own sort of um, pleasure or whether I'm going to rent it out or, you know, all sorts of different things. This came up when we were um, in a holiday club, you know, where we could actually be part of, um, I think it was 35 years or something like that, that we were part of um, a holiday club where we were in a group and we could use points to actually travel. We'd just book our flights and here we were. We could actually stay in the locations that the holiday club offered us. You know, we went to Spain, we went to France, we went to Italy uh, and so on. Um, Canada, I uh, went to Alaska that, uh, with, with that group. So it, do you see what I mean? Don't just think, oh, it's a house move. Oh, I'm decorating. Oh, I'm renting. Oh, it's about mortgage. It's lots of things. But as I said, bringing the pieces of the puzzle together can't really help you with that um, here, but I can on my uh, website, okay? Because that is where you can sit and watch the videos and pause it, take it in and look at it and see what it means to you. And yeah, of course, we can do some Zoom classes, and Spotlight courses, where people can actually, who've already done the course, kind of go, I'm getting a bit stuck with whatever, you know, it might be the major cards, it might be fitting them together, it might be using the method, it might be using the spread, it might be who's this, it might be the court cards, all of that kind of thing. And that's what I'm there to help you with so that you kind of get it. Um, we all learn by uh, it meaning something to us. People say use your intuition. You can. But when somebody's coming at you and saying, I want to know X, Y and Z and when they're going to do it and who, what, where, where and when and how. You've got to be able to kind of go, mm. instead of going, oh, I don't do that, because they won't come back to you. They go to someone who can. And that is where, if you know, it's fine if that's what you want to do, but if you want to be able to answer those questions and confidently answer it, then go onto the courses on the website and it will help you with that. Okay. And, and as I said, I've aimed it at a professional level. If you just want to bounce around and enjoy it as a hobby, it's for you as well. But it's affordable. I've done it for that reason. So you can go off and maybe get a living out of it, like lots of uh, my students in the past have done. So very, very positive card. It's a dwelling. And because the Four of Wands associates so closely with the home environment, you may want to work on improving or renovating your house or you're close to finding a new one. Okay? So that is what it's all about. Okay, so my darlings, let's move into, and here we have on the screen the Minor Arcana, the Suit of Wands, the Fire family, which is what we're studying right now. So this course allows you to learn the symbology of the Rider Waite based decks and the element of fire and what it really means in a reading. So there's 10 individual videos here from Ace of Wands to the Ten of Wands. You can learn all about the suit of wands and what each individual card actually means. I did not include the court cards here, I've done them as a separate course for you to learn all of the 16 court cards which I will show to you. But for now the suit of wands is associated with the element of fire which is hot, wildly unpredictable and dynamic. Ones of the fiery cards of the spirit and associated with passion and inspiration. Here's a little bit about me as your instructor. And this suit of wands will teach you all about the energy that symbolizes human willpower. This course is designed to teach both spiritual novices and experts alike. Here you will learn the positive and negatives of the suit of ones. This course can help you move on to all of the minor arcana. Okay, now, yeah, um, look, here's my new setting. So, I've been excited to share the website with you. You've just seen that was the ones course. So if you want to do that one, you can see some, um, I think it was 19.99. I can't remember, they're all different prices because some of them are shorter or longer. 
Um, yeah, okay, well, I was scared to put it up too high just in case it was tinny. So I can move. I'm going to get that ready for next time. Great, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So, um, what have we got? What have I got for you today? Well, here's the three and four of wands in different decks. You know that I like to show you that. So I've got the Osho Zen Tarot here. Okay. And this is um, experiencing. So this is Osho Zen um, Tarot showing uh, the three of wands. And it's showing a figure standing. Um, by a tree and um, the growth and the pattern that's there. So again, I, I like to show you different decks because I love them, but can you see that that is going to be difficult to actually kind of knit the bullet points of um, PDF that I kind of gave you, some of the meanings, not all of the meanings, but some of the meanings that are there of really what the Three of Wands stands for. Yes, you can use your intuition, but then we all start feeling like I can't answer this and I can't answer that. So if you've got meat on the bone and you've got the meanings and you've got the feelings and that can be a different thing, then you can go into your intuition. But it can be, you know, that you get stage fright or card blindness reading for someone else. Yeah, it's it's one of those things, okay? So, um, well, maybe I'll do a little competition and maybe do a giveaway, um, Victor, um, in a couple of weeks' time, as in I'll think of something, okay? No, totally understand what you're saying, okay? So, um, that's the Osho Zen Tarot, okay? Um, and that's why you've got the free one on here as well, Victor. It's just a case if people want more. Some people are limited to time, money, um, and uh, only want to do, you know, so far, some people want to go much deeper, much further. So I hope there's something there for everyone, okay? So that's the one of experiencing, and that comes from Osho Zen Tarot. So again, it doesn't even say three of wands, but it's a lovely deck, okay? So that's that one. I'll move my phone out of the way, my glasses case, and my cards from last night. And whoops. That's the radio. Actually, that's a radium right of weight deck. Um, never thought of putting that one out. Let's see. Okay. So, um, actually, the reason I didn't put that out is that's the one that's on the PGF, isn't it? So, you know, um, there you go. So, the next one I've got for you is the Urban Tarot. And the Urban Tarot is a beautiful deck absolutely modern, wonderful, and there's me looking down because I've just found you know, four of wands there from the Radiant. Um, it's only because the mark beside me and there's the three of wands, okay. Yeah, there you go. You know, it's because I've just showed you that on the PDF, but um, there you go. I used those last night. Um, these are the, the very deck that's been scanned in onto the PDF um, to help you. So, um, Right, um, bear with me for a second. Let's just take that brightness up a little bit more. There we go. Okay, bring the temperature down a teeny bit. Hope that's okay. So, the Urban Tarot deck is called Virtue, and you know, again, difficult, isn't it, to actually say that that's the Three of Wands. Okay, but it's an excellent deck, and some of the cards really, really work. It's a deck I absolutely love, but when you're starting out, it could be really hard, really difficult, you know? So, um, ah, oh, Victor, you say the nicest things. Look at you. Thank you. You have indeed, Victor. You know, and, and the miles don't keep us apart, do they? Isn't that lovely? That's what I wanted. Little community here, you know? Okay. And so, look, we've got this young lady here. Hello. Um, it's not about having readings, but if you're wanting to learn, you're in the right place. Um, readings on Friday, just in case you are wondering. I do do free readings Friday, um, but on Saturday is free tarot training, how to read the cards, okay? Um, right, I should have my tarot courses online, sort of um, uh, logo on there, but not come up, never mind. Never mind. 
goodness, get this right. Okay, so, um, Three of Wands, Urban Tarot. And then we've got one that is a little bit similar to our right weight. Okay, um, let me pop that there so that you can see that. Okay, so that's what we were looking at in the PDF. Okay, and I just happened to have them next to me. Um, that's the Osho Zen. This is the Urban Tarot. Look at this one. This is the Baroque Bohemian Cats Tarot deck. This is a lovely deck. I've had this about. 20 odd years. Love this deck. Okay. Um, and this is by Karen Mahoney and Alex Ukolov. Yeah, it is. Um, if you like cats, and you know, I love all animals, but I just love the design of all of the cards that these guys do. And they were known as Baba Prague, I think, you know, Magic Realist Press. I'm not quite sure what they call themselves, but I just give them some. You know, they've changed names a few times. Yeah, the Cat Tarot. Oh, it's fab, 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 fab. The Baroque Bohemian Cat's Tarot. It's still available. Really is. Uh, this is by the people on the other deck that you loved, um, Victor. Uh, I think that was the Romantic Victorian Romantic Tarot deck. Um, they've got... I love that one. I've got the fantastic Menagerie deck. I'll try and show that one next week when we do the five and the six by the same people. Fabulous deck, but cats, look at that. The three ones are there, and this is Prague. And there's the cat, you know, and there's the roofs in Prague. Love it. Absolutely love it. So he's looking out, you know, this is my, uh, what I'm going to do, this is my creation, what am I going to do in this city? I can feel it on that one. This one is kind of, you know, it's the city and what's going on and the creation. Um, this one's much harder, you know, and this is why I show you them. But there's certain cards that are, it's worthwhile having the deck for because they really are fab, absolutely fab. You know, um, wow, lovely. Ah, yeah, you see now Victor's talking about his intuition. Yeah, and that's kind of, you know, uh, intuition and all the things that go with that, you know. So you can hear Queen, the band, in his head, and you can hear Freddie sing a song in his head. So it's relating to something. That's um, his intuition being fired on all cylinders by something about these cards. It's speaking to him. So what is the message in that? That's for Victor to sort of think about. Maybe you can help him with that. Maybe he may ask you and throw that out there. I'll carry on for now. Okay. So um, three of wands. Okay. This comes from this deck here, which I'll show up on screen for you. It's the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Beautiful deck. You know, very cultural. Um, absolutely love it. Very modern. And here we've got three of wands. And they are working, you know, they are going forwards, they're discovering new lands. There's the eagles and there's the uh, aircraft there. Here is the, um, the land that they're walking on, which in this case is covered with snow. They've got the dogs there with them and they are creating, they're discovering things, you see. They're on an adventure. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Right. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. So... Now, um, let's look at our right of weight. Um, four of Wands, okay? And put that there. And so the Four of Wands in um, the Osho Zen Tarot, again, you're only getting a four. You're getting, you know, uh, this image here. What is it? It could be a lotus flower. It could be, you know, um, mandala. Um, all sorts of wonderful things, you know. By the way, folks, I um, wanted to show you. Um, as a reader, you know, I use, um, I never really show you this, always beside me, you know, my crystal, okay. And um, I've got loads of them here. Let me just show you. Uh, this is a stone. I talk about grounding myself, okay? So stone will ground me and bring me back to me and take away the energy that I have picked up on through connecting um, psychically, intuitively with the cards, um, the different people. 
So, um, you know, sometimes I can't be seen to be grabbing that because I'm on camera. So I use a smaller one, okay? So a stone will ground you and bring you back to yourself. It takes away the energy that you've picked up from other people so you become yourself, okay? So that's what stones do, you know? Um, this came from Santorini. Um, this um, came from, would you believe, um, it's a massage stone, okay? From um, my hot stone sort of deck. This I found on the beach, okay, and um, these are spirit stones, that's a bear, I think I've got a dolphin, yeah, so stones are good to actually go, right, I need to be me again, okay, and that's what stones do, okay, crystals, and that's a big one, and um, well, um, I've got a huge one. If you'd like to see it, tell me and I'll go over there and get it. Uh, crystals amp amplify and they um, just help um, balance you um, and protect you and bring you back again to yourself, okay? But they heal, okay? So they are more for balancing. A stone will ground you and just bring you back to yourself. A crystal will help amplify the things that you're looking for healing or to to open you know your psychic energy to um, bring things um, to protect it um, to make you stronger to make things stronger you know and um, psychometry sort of um, uh, bits and pieces uh, relate to sort of using crystals and what you can feel from them but also crystals um, can be used in like the kinesiology test so you know, you can test that one out. I'll try and do a video on that to kind of show you what I mean by that in the future. It's a little bit difficult without somebody with me. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing that, but yeah, I've, I've had that a long time. This one came um, from the States, um, Arizona. And yeah, you know, classic sort of crystal, um, that's rose quartz, and look, you see, there's another stone, and then I've got I've even got my um, my crystals have got um, this little throat. Um, I've got runes. Can you see that? My crystals. I've got loads of them. These are just that I have by my desk. You can see the very big, big one. Yeah, yeah. And rose quartz, excellent. Put rose quartz in your kitchen, guys, and you will always, always. It's the heart area of your home. Okay. So just thought I would uh, kind of show you. Um, how you stay healthy as a reader as well okay um, it's important okay no readings today golf fun this is about learning how to read the tower sorry okay fridays is free readings at five o'clock uh, with me tower with them we and tarot courses dot online but not today oh look at that look Patsy and Victor are really intuitively gaining something from these cards. You see, they are talking about um, what they're feeling um, and, and hearing something. That's exactly how your intuition works. You know, you're able to connect with something that has meaning. In this case, Victor and Patsy are actually talking about the band Queen and they are talking about what they can hear, Freddie Mercury, and in Patsy's case, she's talking about Don't Stop Me Now, that song um, that came into uh, her mind about Queen. So isn't that in interesting? Yeah, and the symbology of that, you know, we could sit and decode that. <laughs> Freddie Mercury, absolute star. Actually, I don't know what his star sign was. Does anybody know? If you do, type it in for me. Thank you, darlings. Um, what a, what a lovely, lovely um, uh, lot you are sharing um, your intuition on this. Right, so let's just show you those. So you see what I mean? That's a beautiful deck, really beautiful deck, and the back of the card's gorgeous too, you know, as they always are. Um, I should show you the back of that one, and back of that one, and back of that one there you go and the back of that one yeah okay right just to help there's the doggies 
Incidentally, the puppies are doing fine. Um, they are growing and they are um, they're sleeping and playing and doing everything and they're doing really, really well. Okay, so let's just move those there so I don't mix those up and put them all back properly so they're ready for work. Okay, so yeah, um, like a mandala. Um, this one from the Urban Tarot Deck Completion. You know, four of wands, completing something, consolidating something. I love this deck, but it is hard to read with. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know what? It might speak to you intuitively, just like Patsy and Victor are saying. Ah. Okay, we need to answer. Okay, right. And then we've got the Bohemian Cat's Tarot, which is the domain of home behind them. Freddy's a Virgo. Ah, we, uh, that's what he was talking about. Freddie is a Virgo. Thank you. So a September um, Virgo, very grounded. That's probably, you know, we were talking about being grounded. Earth, okay. So um, Freddie Mercury was Virgo and an Earth sign, okay. Meticulous attention to detail when it's Virgo. Very experienced, very capable, and does things in a way that they are pretty unique in themselves in a way that is, they would take that, that kind of sense of duty um, to uh, rely on themselves rather than other people, okay? So, yeah, he had a moon in Capricorn. Wow, really earthy. Wow, that's brilliant, yeah? How earthy is that? So maybe that's what was kind of, you know, um, coming up here. So, um, our Four of Wands, Bohemian Cats Tarot, Domain Behind, you know, not that obvious really. We've got cats, it's beautiful, we've got the home behind us, but it doesn't speak to us in quite the same way I've moved it um, as the Four of Wands in the Rider Waite deck, okay? But it's your choice. I'm just trying to show you things that you might go, they're beautiful, but I might struggle. Cards are a lot of money. So if you can actually sort of go, right, hang on a minute, there's something that I really love, but are you going to struggle reading with that? Then that's your choice to go, but I just want it because I love it. And I might get that. Or you might turn around and actually go, no, it's beautiful, but I look at it online. Um, I think I'm going to struggle and save myself pennies, whichever way you want to go. Okay, so hopefully that helps. All right, and the Four of Wands. So Four of Wands from the Everyday Enchanted Tarot deck. There you go. Yeah, okay, great deck. And uh, the back of that card is also beautiful too. So Four of Wands, we've got a scene here with people um, in merriment, gathering, the home in the background there. And we've got the Four Wands lit up there with fire. Absolutely love that. It almost looked like birthday candles, but they are not. They are wands with the flame. And that's kind of what I did when I um, was looking for images from my courses to be able to put some modern images together combined um, with uh, the ones showing the fire um, like they are on the everyday enchantment tarot deck. Okay, so I do hope that that helps, okay. Um, right, so, you know, um, I will see you next week and uh, that'll be Friday for live tarot, Saturday or Sunday for training. I won't do anything next week, Victor. I'm sorry, I've got so much going on. We will do something in the future, but it will be the workshop that we do it on. I'll do something a bit like you've been doing today, but I'll bring you in on camera, but I need to get everything ready, and I've not had a minute this week. It's my mum's birthday tomorrow. She's a Taurus, and we are in the time of Taurus. Um, she would be 81. Um, she doesn't watch this, so it's in... Um, She's not even really aware, bless her, uh, that I do this online anymore because of her age and um, what's going on. Let me just move that over a little bit. There we go. That's the Virgo sort of uh, side of me kind of going, come on, I'm not a Virgo. I just have Virgo somewhere in my chart and it's in my uh, house of work. So I'm going to leave you. I'll see you Friday, five o'clock for live readings. I'll see you next Saturday or Sunday. Um, for some more uh, tuition uh, of how to read the cards. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the new sort of setup that I've got here. I was excited to kind of show your comments on screen like that. Um, just to demonstrate sort of quickly um, what's going on on Fridays. If you type Q, um, 
in front of your question, what happens is anything with Q in the beginning of the sentence, I can actually separate the comments so I can answer questions quickly when I get over 200 messages in an hour. It's really hard to actually scroll. Um, as you can actually see, we've had a lot of messages today, which is great. You see what I mean? Yeah. I've also got that, believe it or not. I don't know. You see what I mean? Still going. And that's just a short sort of session um, without uh, people asking for readings. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this. I've turned the sound up. I hope I don't blast your ears off. And I'll see you next week. All right, my darlings. For now, watch this one. Welcome to tarotcourses.online. Here is my tarot keywords. You can download your tarot PDF keywords, how to learn the tarot cards. This is a PDF that helps you learn the challenges of what it comes to mastering tarot card meanings. And in this tarot keyword ebook, you can have it as PDF or an ebook, whichever you want. There you have on the screen the fact that you are able to learn all of the 78 cards and what they actually mean. So, in this tarot keyword ebook, you'll instantly be more confident about your tarot readings. I've provided you with some of the professional statements that I would use when reading for a client. You can take a quick path to learn the tarot card meanings and it helps you quickly interpret the cards to become a very confident reader. If you wish, also purchase, which is on screen now, my tarot journal for 2022, where you have 100 pages with each of the cards, which allows you notes if that's what you want to do. Um, you can put your own cards on there, write down your feelings, the meanings, the interpretations, or you can make a note where I've actually put a uh, card image there for you so you know uh, what to look at when say reading for the magician. We've got the wands, we've got the pentacles, we've got the cup family, we've got the swords and we've got the major arcana cards. It's a beautiful book and uh, yeah your pdf for helping you learn the keywords to the meaning of the cards. And so now on the screen is my tarot journal. And this is a journal that you can download as a PDF where you can start recording in an organized space to learn tarot. And the journal helps you develop your relationship with your tarot cards. Here on the screen is what you will get in your tarot journal and the images that you are able to place into the boxes there or the images that I've put up there. You can choose your own. You can just print off as many pages as you want. This actual PDF consists of 100 pages and layout spaces for you to fill in and journal all of your tarot readings. It's a simple note format for writing about your tarot card readings. No matter what card you're reading for or what you want to record, you'll have a great time being able to keep notes. I had mine all those years ago when I was a tarot student. I still keep notes. I still am continuing to actually explore and learn what the tarot teaches me over these years. And the simple act of writing things down is quite magical. So it's how we learn things. So this is a download that you can actually print off as many pages as you actually want so that you are able to keep adding to the knowledge of what each card means and what your readings are. Perhaps for a diary, or a journal of whatever it is that you need to keep everything in one place. Well, my darlings, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye from me. Bye, have a great weekend.